Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton, and we're back here with another review today. So today we are actually going to look at this Musen Wild Mini Bluetooth speaker. So let's get at it. All right, guys, so before we get into what I think of the speaker itself, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs so we know what we're dealing with. All right, guys, so what we're looking at here is the Musen Wild Mini Bluetooth speaker featuring a small compact design that is 2.4 inches long by 1.5 inches wide and 3.1 inches high that also features an all metal construction. It weighs about 248 grams or about a half a pound. And with Bluetooth 5.0, it has a range of about 32.8 feet. It features a four ohm, five watt loudspeaker, it has a system response of 80 hertz to 18 kilohertz, and it has a battery that is a 3.7 volt, 800 milliamp hour that can run for up to eight hours at 80% volume. It charges through a micro USB port on the side. This speaker is also IPX5 water resistant, so you don't have to worry about weather or anything else when it comes to water resistance on this speaker. And has a three mode flashlight that goes from bright, dim to SOS. So guys, when you first open this up out of the box, what you first notice is how robust this design is. This all metal construction is really sturdy. I swear you could probably throw this down a mountain and it would be perfectly fine. Now that does mean it's a little bit heavier for its size at 248 grams, but the trade-off for that is you get a speaker that is basically bulletproof. So let's take a look at the controls. First off, you have this volume knob up on the top that has a nice little click to it. Then you have your on and off switch that has multi-function. First off, if you hold it down for a couple of seconds, it actually turns the speaker on. If you hold it up, it activates Bluetooth pairing mode. And then if you hold the button down, it turns on the flashlight. And then with another tap, you go into lower mode and then your SOS. Then you go over to the knob on the side and it actually gives you your forward and back on track and play and pause with the button in the middle. And then on the side of the unit itself, you see that you have the door for the micro USB charging port. And then on the top, you have an attachment point that you can put lanyards or anything else that you want to attach this to, maybe your wrist, a backpack, or anything else to make it a little bit more portable. All right, guys, so what do I think about the Musen Wild Mini? First off, I love the size. It makes it super portable and makes it really easy to take out to the fire pit, the pool, or anywhere else you want to go and have some music. It is also kind of nice to have this little flashlight on the top in case I want to go back to the house or anything else. You don't have to have a separate flashlight outside to kind of see where you're going at night. The overall construction of this thing is awesome. And while it is a little bit heavier because of the metal design, I do like that it, I do not have to worry about if the dogs knock it over or if it starts raining outside, whether or not the speaker is gonna hold up. This thing is essentially bulletproof and it kind of goes well with the whole military style design, which I also like as well. This is the kind of bluish gray color with some kind of military accents to it. And it really fits the overall construction of the speaker itself. But where the speaker really surprised me was sound quality. Out of something that's this small, I really expected it to be quiet. But let's go ahead, turn it on, take a listen, and you can see what I mean. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do here is just play a couple short tracks at 50% volume, 80% volume, and 100% volume so that you can see what this speaker is going to sound like as best you can coming from the video. So here's at right about 50% volume. Then up to 100%. Then down to 80. Up to a hundred. Now back up to a hundred. Back up 
Back down to 80. So guys, as you can tell, this thing can really throw sound a pretty far distance for just such a small and compact speaker. Now, one thing to keep in mind though, this is a smaller driver. So when you have these really bass heavy tracks, like I played on that last one at 100%, it could start to get a little bit distorted and muddy. I really found that the sweet spot for this thing is about 80%. Not only do you get the longest battery life, but you also get the best sound quality without all the distortion. So it is something I did expect out of something of this size, but it is surprisingly loud for how small it is. So guys, this is a great solution if you need a compact small speaker that is super durable when you wanna be out outdoors and not have to worry about breaking something while you're out enjoying some music. So guys, I wanna hear what you think. Is this a speaker you can see getting for yourself? What do you think about the Muse and Wild Mini? And if you have any questions about it, hit up the comment section below and I'll do the best to answer those as well. If you guys enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to Rob Sutton for more reviews like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.